What is the longest word ever spoken by Mr. Beast? Oh, he did a whole video on that. This goes on for two hours. No, 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 no. I mean a real word that is actually in a regular dictionary. I don't know. It's environmentalists. I'm gonna make some popcorn. I took the plastic off. All right, calm down, environmentalist. How do you know that? Well, that is a more involved answer than you might think. In this video, I'll show you how I downloaded all of the words spoken on Mr. Beast's channel, the largest channel on YouTube. We'll be looking at all the words in Mr. Beast videos, how many words, how fast they're spoken, and even how positive or negative they are. How can you do that? With an algorithm that tracks sentiment. And at the end of the video, I'll show you how you can find out this information about your favorite YouTube channels. But enough talk, more data. It's data time. I'm data. Since Jimmy started his YouTube channel in 2012, he has published nearly 800 videos. And they are very different. Oh yeah. Take a look at his early videos he made when he was a kid. All right. Gee, where am I? What just happened? What did this say? They look nothing like his recent videos. I just started this 10 minute timer. And when it hits zero, that room all the way over there, full of money will explode. And the only man that can stop it is this man in this straight jacket. In these videos, I found about 100 hours of content with nearly 1 million words spoken. In these videos, his lexicon contains about 15,000 unique words. What's a lexicon? That's how many different words in the English language he actually uses. The dictionary I'm using contains about 370,000 words in the English language. The longest of these words is 17 letters long. The longest words ever spoken on his channel are environmentalists. Just gonna make some popcorn, I took the plastic off. All right, calm down, environmentalist. And counterproductive. I've been trying really hard to lose weight. This is like counterproductive. Wait, that last one wasn't Jimmy. That's right, I'm not tracking words spoken by Jimmy. I'm tracking all words spoken on the Mr. Beast channel. You see, I'm getting all of this information from the transcriptions that YouTube puts on his videos. How does that work? For most videos on YouTube, if you go to the bottom of the description, you can click on show transcriptions and a transcript will pop up to the right of the video. This is what drives the closed caption feature YouTube has. You can upload transcriptions to your channel, but even if you don't, YouTube will auto-generate them as best as it can. How well does that work? It depends. The auto-generated words don't have punctuation and they sometimes get words wrong, especially jargon words or other proper nouns. So what do you do with this information? There are transcriptions for most YouTube videos and there is a way to procedurally download these transcriptions as JSON files, complete with text and start time and duration. That, along with the YouTube API provided in Python, I can write some software to find every single video on a particular YouTube channel and then download transcriptions for each video in order to build my own database of all the words spoken on a channel. You downloaded every single word on Mr. Beast's channel? Well, not quite. Not all videos have transcriptions. Of the nearly 800 videos on Mr. Beast's channel, I was able to download the transcripts of almost 700 of them for a coverage of 80%. Not all of these words are spoken by Jimmy himself, since he also has his friends and guests in the videos. The transcriptions don't specify who is the one speaking. Wait. Doesn't Jimmy have a video where he says every single word in the dictionary? Yes, but I can't find that video anymore, which is probably for the best, since I think that would just screw up all of my statistics. So why are you even doing all this in the first place? Well, now that I have all of the data from his channel, I can do some interesting analysis of his words. Like what? First off, I can see how quickly he speaks on his channel. Why? YouTube videos are known for being fast paced, but just how quickly do YouTubers speak? Let's take a look at his speed for each year as words per minute. This speed is calculated as the total number of words spoken in the year divided by the total number of minutes of content. So videos that just have music or long periods of no talking will bring down the average, whereas videos where people are speaking quickly will bring up the average. Looking at Jimmy's videos year over year, we can see that in his early years, Jimmy's videos had a speed of about 170 words per minute. Then he increased his speed until 2016, 
when his speed dropped to about 120 words per minute. Since then, it's been mostly increasing to just under 200 words per minute. From this graph, we can see that most of Jimmy's videos are averaging between 150 and 200 words per minute each year, with an average speed of 175. The average English speaker speaks around 140 words per minute, with slow talkers speaking about 110 words per minute, and fast talkers speaking about 170 words per minute. From this, we can definitely see that Mr. Beast videos have a faster speaking style. But then again, I think that's gonna be true of most YouTube videos, especially ones that are highly edited. Yeah, but who cares? This doesn't tell us if speaking faster is better. Right. Let's now take a look at how well Mr. Beast videos have performed over the years. Here, we can plot the performance of each video against the average speaking rate. The horizontal axis displays the number of words per minute, and the vertical axis logarithmically plots the number of views each video has received. If we look at Jimmy's first videos, we see that the speeds are pretty diverse. He has an average speed of about 176 words per minute, but some videos are pretty slow and some are pretty fast. They have a standard deviation of about 42. As his videos progress, we still see an increase in views, but we also see an increase in deviation. His speeds vary greatly from video to video. In 2016, his standard deviation rose to about 55. Then Jimmy's videos started to do better. His videos started performing better and his speeds started to increase a bit. But what is more noteworthy is that his speeds start becoming more honed in. In 2020, his deviation was down to only 14, meaning his video speeds were pretty much the same from video to video that year. At this point, we can see that his videos are really clustered around 180 words per minute, with a deviation of 34. As time goes on and Mr. Beast's channel grows, we see his views getting higher and higher and his speaking rate going up a bit. But what I think is more interesting is that his speaking rates become more consistent. In 2015, Jimmy made more videos than he did any other year, and his speaking rate was all over the place. In fact, both his slowest and fastest videos of all time are found in this year. However, in 2023, his videos are more consistent with their speeds, settling in at around 150 to 210 words per minute. So I think it would be naive to simply suggest that faster is better. I think consistency might actually play a bigger role than I originally thought. Is speed the only thing you can track? No. The other thing we're tracking is the actual content of what's being said, specifically the sentiment. What do you mean by sentiment? Whether he says positive or negative things in his videos. How do you track that? Actually, there is a software solution that can do this for us. The Natural Language Toolkit is a free software library in Python that can rank the sentiment of text. Basically, you give it text and it will score how positive or negative it is. How does it know that? It looks at keywords in the text to determine sentiment. Huh? The toolkit is basically a large dictionary of thousands of words in the English language that are emotionally charged. Each word is given a value to score its negativity or positivity. So when you provide the algorithm with a piece of text, it calculates the overall negativity and positivity of the text with a score between zero and one. For example, if I say pie is the best food, I get a score of zero for negativity and about 0.5 for positivity. However, if I say, I hate pie, I get about 0.7 for negativity and zero for positivity. And if I say something mixed like, I love pie, but I hate cake, I get about 0.4 for negativity, but I also get about 0.2 for positivity. So the computer can tell a person's feelings from which words they use? Well, this is a really rudimentary approach for ranking speech. It has no idea about sarcasm and even has trouble understanding basic context. Context? If we look at the phrase, you don't know what you're talking about, that sounds pretty negative, but it technically doesn't use any words that the algorithm thinks are emotionally charged. So we get a score of zero for both positivity and negativity. Ugh, that doesn't sound that great. Yeah, it's definitely not gonna be great at picking up the subtleties of language. Also, fewer words cause the score to be more exaggerated. Shorter videos have more extreme results since there aren't as many words to go off of. How does this affect Mr. Beast videos? Let's take a look. Here is Mr. Beast's most negative video. They, they killed D D Daryl. They killed Daryl. He's dead. Why'd they kill Daryl? He, he's dead. I'm done with The Walking Dead. Here you can see that in this short video, a large percentage of words spoken are considered negative. For contrast, here is Mr. Beast's most positive video. So hopefully you enjoyed that. I thought it was pretty funny. I just wanted to give a quick shout out to Vegabond. I want to make sure I give credit where it's due. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I thought it was pretty funny. Once again, we have only a few words spoken and 
they are mostly positive. Okay, but those are just some short random clips. What about his channel overall? Right. If we run this algorithm over a lot of words, we can hopefully get a broad idea of his channel sentiment. Let's do a year over year analysis of the sentiment on Mr. Beast's channel. Here we can see the positivity score for each year on Mr. Beast's channel is consistently pretty high, averaging between 0.7 and 0.8. As for his negativity score, we see that it is consistently pretty low, averaging under 0.1. Oh, so his channel seems to be pretty positive all the time. It looks that way, and that makes sense if you watch his channel. Most of his videos are about fun challenges and giveaways. So, Mr. Beast has never done anything negative. Well, it's also important to note that Mr. Beast did used to make more negative content when he was getting started. He would criticize smaller YouTubers for their bad intros and say other negative things about them. However, he has since removed those videos, so I wasn't able to capture them in my analysis. Can you run this analysis on other YouTube channels to see how they score? Definitely. I can download the transcripts of any channel and run this analysis on them. Comment below what YouTube channels you would like to find out about, specifically their longest words, their rate of speaking, and their general sentiment. Die.